And the second quarter getting underway. It's been a close one so far. It's a three-point game. Ronnie Price out there with Quincy Pondexter and Babbitt. Price with the steal. Now Price. They've got Quentin Ross and Wafer. Petro, and it's rebounded. A quick shot. Bricks it off the front iron. I think he's really starting to lose confidence in his shot. Those misses are getting to him. Can't connect on the quick shot. Price with the steal. Abbott from 20 feet out. Number 86 snatches it inside. Wafer for three. That's good. He's got five. Kevin, that's just not good defense. You can't be giving players of his talent level looks like that. Come on now. And here's Price. Abbott. Petro grabs the board. Under four minutes left in the second. Wafer makes it from 18 feet out. I really like the fire, the intensity that they're playing with now. They got off to a tough start there in the first quarter. They didn't shoot it particularly well, but they've, they've played through it. They've been able to stick with it, and that, to me, that shows their resilience. Here's Price. Five on the clock. From downtown. Kept alive. They shoot again. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. The first one falls. Both teams will make substitutions. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Only given up two points this quarter. Tipped. Here's Petro. Fired short but gets the kind roll and goes in. Kevin, they're fighting extremely hard right here. Bit by bit, just trying to pull away. Here's Warren. The beat sets a pick. No good on the baseline, Jay. Here's Graham. Eight point game. Wafer. And no good. But close on that one, so he'll shoot two. Not a bad foul there, Kevin. You don't want him to get the easy layup. Vaughn Wafer. Taking two shots. No good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Here's Warren. 224 left in the half. The steal. Got a great jump on the ball there, Kevin. Wafer. And he makes the basket. So one free throw coming up as he'll try to make it a three-point play. Vaughn Wafer. 
And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. Here's Warren. The away team will take a timeout. A 12-point game. Came close to getting the three-point play, but instead he'll go to the line to shoot two. That's a good call by the referee. There was definitely some contact on the release of the shot. First free throw is good. It's a good job from the foul line here. And they'll need to continue to convert their chances in order to get back in it. Good on both. Two oh four left in the second. Wafer for three. The beat on the rebound. Here comes Willie Warren. Goes up. It's off. You can't D up a layup any better than that. Nice work. Number 86. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. First personal foul. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. I really like the way their offense looks here in the second. They're getting to the line more here than they did in the first quarter. Both teams deciding to change it up. That one misses. And here is Pondexter. Now Warren, from deep, kept alive, goes back up, misses the layup. Well, he doesn't have the softest touch, and with the D right in his face, that made all the difference. Here's Ross, scooped up, draws the foul. He'll get a trip to the line. Contact certainly altered that shot. The official was right on top of it. First free throw is good. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Here's Warren. Can't hit from the elbow. Graham with the ball. A 12-point game. He dumps it off. Here's Ross. It falls short. Smart D forced him into taking that mid-range jump shot, and as you might expect, he wasn't able to knock it down. Warren with the ball. Now Pondexter over Ross. Turnover. So it's both teams making substitutions here.
Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Wafer for three. Scooped up. Anthony left side. Wafer buries the corner jumper. 13 points in the game. Here's Price. Abbott behind the arc. Rebounded by Anthony. This board has been a disaster for him, Kevin. He just can't buy a buck. And the first half is now in the books. The home team leading by 14. bring a little extra stature to this President's Day edition of the HP Halftime Report. The home team is on a tear right now. Phenomenal communication and teamwork defensively. They've been like a brick wall. They felt the impact of Trevor Booker. Lighten up that scoreboard. He's making it ring like a pinball machine. And slugging it out so far are the visitors. You can see the effort on the offensive glass, mixing it up, getting plenty of second shot opportunities. Luke Babbitt's making the most of his minutes. Lighten up that scoreboard. He's making it ring like a pinball machine. And now we send you back to the game. We'll see you next time. Up that scoreboard. He's making it ring like a pinball machine. And now we send you back to the game. We'll see you next time.